Okay, today is the, let me go figure out, I think it's 28th, 29th, today's the 29th. I was not intending to make this video right now. Uh, reason it's being made is I just had to. So the intent of the video today was to be an unboxing, uh, which it still is going to be. Then I'm going to talk about why I turned on the camera today. I'm oh, sorry. <sighs> out of shape sorry i'm looking shaggy i've been trying to get my beard shave a magic shave and like every day it's like not working i tried different shit and um it's just really bugging me I mean, you can't do anything for like 24 hours so anywho uh long and short i have uh referrals that i get from a certain lender so the lender sent a check back in to um uh, my company, but it sent it to the wrong office. No big deal, whatever. So, uh, long and short, I'm talking to the guy today and all he would do is interrupt me. I'm trying to explain it and he would uh, interrupt me and then start talking. And it's like, he thinks he's got it and he didn't get it. I don't think anybody fucking listens anymore. They just interrupt people and they don't fucking listen. But here's the thing. It gets worse. Yesterday when the, uh, person at the front office called me about the check she asked me what she, what I wanted to do with it. Did I want to come pick it up? And she want, did I want her to pick it and put it in the mail? I bottom line said I want you to keep it there because I don't want to touch it. Because th there's this thing about in real estate where the broker owns the transaction, so I'm not supposed to touch those checks. I don't want to ever be accused of shit. Do not, I will never put my hands on a check. Anyway, uh, she just called. This is what starts this. And she goes, are you coming to pick this check up? Yesterday, I, told, I said I was not picking it up. I wanted her to hold it there until I contact the company. How did it go from, I need you to hold it until I contact the company to, are you picking the check up today? Nobody fucking listens. And it's because they keep interrupting. And every time I try to say something, she would just interrupt with something. And it's like, okay, uh, well, first of all, I never said I was picking the check up, which is what I said. Uh, and, and then I go into, uh, as I, I was trying to explain it to her, you know, cause I want to talk to the company, try to resolve this. I don't want to just pick up a check. What? It's going to get lost someplace. So anyway, every time I tried to say something, she would just interrupt. Then it's to a point. It's like, okay, the, uh, I wanted to try to figure out what happened with the check interrupting me. Oh, they type the wrong address in, sending it back. No, that's not what I meant. That's what I said. That's not what I meant. I'm trying to figure out why they sent it back. 2080. Only 20% of this country or the world knows what the fuck is going on. And we have to serve. I'm, I mean, I could be uh, suffering from Dunning-Kruger, you know. You ever heard of that? So hopefully I'm in the 20 and not the fucking 80. Jesus, I don't know how some people could survive like that. Can't even get a simple concept. I want you to hold it until I find out what's going on with the check to, are you picking it up today? So anyway, what I was gonna review today, let me show you this right. Uh, I think it's called a Riley. Riley, it's a, uh, some super advanced helmet. I got it for whatever. It was a Kickstarter. It's supposed to have been delivered 50 billion years ago, like all Kickstarters. I guess I could figure out when it was supposed to be delivered. So this is my unboxing of it. So it's supposed to have all kinds of crap built into it, like it's on Bluetooth. It's supposed to have a um, like a light and, and turn signals and shit ways to control your phone <laughs> so here is the Rayleigh so let's get this sucker open maybe I'll get myself back into doing crap I'm supposed to do like riding on a bike to lose weight okay let's pull this helmet out
hope that's the remote there. So here's the helmet. Does that look blue to you or does that look purple? I'm gonna ask a question because it's hard to tell. Maybe it's blue. I think I chose, I'm pretty sure I chose blue. It's like when I get shit and it's not blue or black. I'm like, yep, you have follow instructions because if I know there's a black version of it, I get black. If I know there's a blue, that's my first choice. So let's see here. It's too damn small for me to see. So um, let's see here. So it has, this is the light and it actually has a built-in HD camera so you can record your rides. It's supposed to be crystal clear. We'll find out. On the back, it actually has turn signals. I think this is the remote. Hold on. What's at the bottom here? So here's the remote. So you place that on the count on the uh, handlebars. That's how you'll answer your phone because it has Bluetooth, like I said, and like do left and right. So it'll flash in the back of your helmet. <sighs> Let's go to the Kickstarter and get the tail of the tails. Let's first see how it looks on me. Oh, interesting snap maneuver. I'm assuming there's some adjustments because I wouldn't have known my... Oh, okay. You adjust with this little... That doesn't feel good. Because... Okay, there it is. Ah, uh, yes. You can adjust it down to your head. Okay, there are the speakers for the Bluetooth. So you can listen to your music, take phone calls and whatever. I'm assuming it has a speaker, maybe here, up front. It looks like this is for the SD card or the, nope, SD card is over here. So this slot must be probably to charge it. A helmet that charges, wow. Okay, let's go to the tail of the tape. Kickstarter and see when I was supposed to have received this. I know it's way overdue. I don't even have to think about it. <sighs> so anyway, I'm leaving in a few minutes here for my colonoscopy. That's why I wasn't planning to do one this morning. Because I don't know what, well, I'm, I'm not having the colonoscopy today. Today is the initial uh, little consultation. I'll put this over on this screen. Okay, the Ray Lee M1, the first all-in-one AI sports helmet. They came up with this shit. They didn't know what AI was. Uh, while this is coming up, I'm going to give you a warning. FTC issued a warning either yesterday or today. Um, change your voicemails on your phone. The AI has gotten so good, people are going and stealing people's voices from phone and cloning their voices for nefarious purposes. That's how good, I mean, shit, pretty soon people won't be able to make YouTube videos because people are just going out and cloning their voices. There's going to be more than enough you, um, stuff there. I, can, I mean, hell, I can go and clone Mr. Beast's voice tomorrow. Shit. Okay, let's see here. First of all, I'd like to see if anyone else has received theirs. Go in the comments, there are 1,502 comments. Nope, where's my helmet? I uh, posted several times asking for tracking. Uh, I noticed an update. Finally hoping to get optimistic. I need an update. Okay, maybe I'd be maybe one of the first ones to receive theirs. So next part, tell of the tape. What was my backer number? So there were 729 backers. So your number doesn't mean much compared against that because people drop out and the numbers are sequential. So I was backer number 809. I just got mine yesterday. Again, um, I saw the email that came out we, uh, hours later from UPS or somebody. I think it was from them showing that the, it had been delivered. So I go outside and it's like, it's not there. I asked my wife, oh, it's in the garage. 
In other words, she pulled pull it out, probably coming home, and didn't tell me the damn thing was there. How the hell am I supposed to know if I receive something? You don't tell me that it's there. Jesus. Okay. Let's see here. I was originally supposed to have it in May 2022. At least we, we're not a, what, a year off. We're only 11 months off. So let's see here. EIS FID action camera with a Sony sensor. Voice control via Bluetooth, smart Bluetooth. I have voice control. Hands-free phone calls, which means, yes, I can make a full call and not just listen to music. Voice navigation. Turn signals. A 350 lumen touch light. Uh, wood first replaceable shell, shell design? I think they mean world. Up to 18 hours of battery. See anything else they have up in here? Looks fairly close. Okay. If they reach $80,000. Hold up. Okay, there'd be a new color if they hit 50,000, silver blue. And I think the silver blue was supposed to be this part here. This is black. I wasn't offered silver blue. Uh, well, let's see, they raised 957, 363,000 Hong Kong dollars. Hey Siri. Oh, hmm? oh, I didn't. Oh, shut up. Alexa, convert 957,000 Hong Kong dollars to U.S. dollars. 957,000 Hong Kong dollars is 121,912 U.S. dollars and 38 cents. Call it 120. So at 50, we were supposed to get electric blue. I got black. I don't remember it, an option for it. Yeah, see, this looks so cool if you look at it. The electric blue with the black cover. Again, I think this is purple. It looks purple to me. I'm not Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, let's see here. So we're supposed to get an extra remote. Here's the box for the remote. Let me see if there are two in there. 121,000. At 50, the electric blue, silver blue. At 80... An extra remote. One remote. What happened to the extra remote at 80? One. One. Oh, you can put it on your, you, you don't just have to put it on the uh, bike. You can actually wear it as a watch. At 100,000, we we're supposed to get a 64 gig SanDisk Ultra Plus SD card. Let me see. There, there was no SD card in here. There's no extra SD card or extra remote in there. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. I see where the SD card is supposed to be, where it says TF. Oh, there's an SD card here. So I cannot... Um, Say anything bad. Let's see how big is it. Come on now. It is 64 gigs. So they did do that. So the only thing that's missing is my extra remote and my electric blue, silver blue. But I do not remember a uh, a choice when I did that. So <sighs> I guess the next thing is to charge this sucker up. Figure out where the battery charger is for the e-bikes. <laughs> I don't even know where the battery charger is for the e-bikes, man. And uh, go take this sucker for a ride, finally. As a matter of fact, the... Weather's getting perfect. For, well, it's not getting perfect. It's gloomy as hell last few days. Uh, but this time of year is getting perfect for biking, and I can go biking around um, different neighborhoods and do that as part of my uh, uh, other YouTube channel. 
Okay, as far as this goes, that's enough. I will. The remote looks completely different. Not completely, it's just like. <sighs> so now I gotta go like, hey, I just received mine, charging it now. Um, where's that extra remote we were supposed to get? And that'll end it. Okay, thank you guys.